Hey guys, it's Catherine, and the first thing I want to say is that I did not have time to film my Halloween get ready with me, unfortunately, but I'm going to insert some pictures over here just so you can see what I wore. I was a pink lady from Greece. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the things I loved in October, and I still do, but these are mostly focused on October, so they're my October favorite favorites. Also, if you hear my voice, it sounds kind of weird. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was yelling and like singing at the top of my lungs this weekend because I had a few parties. But yeah, so if my voice sounds a bit weird, just ignore that. And that's it. So let's get on into the video. So I'm going to start off with the beauty favorites. So I'm just going to have a box here. I'm just going to dive in. So the first thing I have is Maybelline's Master Fix uh, Wear Boosting Setting Spray. And it's just... A drugstore setting spray but I'm telling you guys this works like your makeup my makeup stays on my face all day I put this on every time I do everyday makeup and I use my Urban Decay setting spray when I do like a more glam full faced makeup look but if you're looking for an everyday setting spray I highly recommend this one next I have the Sephora 10 hour wear perfection foundation and I'm in the shade 10 light ivory <laughs> And it's a neutral shade so yeah just looks like that and I really like this foundation because it's light coverage but it still covers enough um, it's very like you don't feel like you're wearing foundation it's very light um, and this is fairly cheap I think it's about like $24 I'm gonna have it linked down below so you can guys you guys can go check it out but yeah I really love this foundation it matches my skin it has a very nice finish and it accepts other makeup on top nicely like it doesn't um, it doesn't what's the word it's not patchy when you put other stuff on top it blends very well with other things next I have the L'Oreal Paris True Match super blendable blush in the shade precious peach so this blush I don't know if you can see it actually but whatever it's kind of this um, like it said peachy neutral color and it just blends so well onto the skin I feel like this can go with really any skin tone it's it has a bit of shimmer to it on the cheeks it looks very natural so if you're going for that natural peachy kind of look then I highly recommend this and uh, yeah like like the packaging says it is super blendable so it looks nice on any skin tone the next thing I have is Becca's shimmering skin perfecter in pearls so as I don't think you're ready for this Remember that I'm pale, okay? So I got the Pure White Shimmery Highlighter. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just going to move around a bit. Okay. I got this towards the end of October, but I've worn it ever since then. Like, let me try swatching it for you. Or should I swatch it? <gasps> oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see that, but... Whoa! The shimmer in here Ugh. I'm that type of person that doesn't know when to stop when I'm highlighting so <laughs> you know I'll be glowing all day the next thing I have is Lorax tantalizer baked bronzer in the shade matte tan um, so I've been using this mostly when I do uh, full face makeup oh, there's a dust full face makeup or glam looks and yeah I just use this to bronze and it it's um, I use a very light hand with it because I'm so pale so I'm scared to like add bronzer but um, it leaves a very nice bronze finish to your skin you look like a goddess so I highly recommend that the final face product before I move on to lips is Tarte Tartlet in bloom palette I got this for my birthday from Juliana guys I am obsessed with it like I don't know how to show you without well you've seen it whatever I'll insert a picture these shades, I'll tell you which ones I love the most, okay? Or like, which ones I use the most. So, I usually use Jet Setter as a transition shade in the crease. I use Rebel a lot in the crease and Leader in the outer corners. Sometimes if I'm going for a more smoky look, I'll use Smoke Show. And I love using Firecracker and Funny Girl on the lid for... On the lid or Funny Girl in the inner corner for a more glam look. Moving on to lips, the first lipstick I have is Max Amaris. I showed you, I showed this in my fall favorites lipsticks. What what is it called? 
favorite fall lipsticks video. Um, it's just this gorgeous um, plum, how do you call this, mauve shade. It's a satin finish. The next lipstick I had is Lorax Lipstick in Entrepreneur. And this was in um, the Spring Collection, I think. But it's like a brownie red mauve color. It's in the Alter Ego Collection. But it's really nice. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's really nice. The next lipstick, well it's a liquid lipstick that I have, is NYX Prague. And I'm actually wearing it today. As you can see, it's a very nice berry mauve color. Um, I love the NYX soft uh, lipsticks. Like They're super affordable. They dry matte. They are perfect on the lips. You don't feel like you're wearing anything. Finally, the last lipsticks I have is the Smashbox Collection. I don't know what this is called, actually. It's the collection of lipsticks from Smashbox that I got from my friend Adriana. But there's two shades in particular that I love in here. So the two shades I love are in Fig and Inspiration. So Fig is a very nice berry color. Similarly, similarly, similar to Max Amorous, but it's more dark. Um, yeah. I think I also shared this in my fall, my favorite fall lipsticks video. And the next one I have is just this berry, um, it's a bright berry color, but I like mixing this with other lipsticks to kind of give it a darker finish. And all, both of these lipsticks are in a satin finish. Next, I'm going to be showing you some of my fashion favorites. So the first thing I have is this gray leather jacket from Forever 21. Um, I actually bought this last year, um, but I haven't worn it. Because I think, I think it's because when it came in the packaging, because I ordered it online, it was all wrinkled and the flaps like stayed up. So I didn't want to wear it until I knew that they would stay down. So I actually put bobby pins to keep them down. Then I completely forgot about it. So the bobby pins were on them, or on this jacket for a year. And now I took it out and it's perfect. It fits perfectly. Um, this fake leather is super soft. So I, okay, belt, you need to stop. This fake leather is super soft, so I love wearing it. I hope you guys can see it. I like it because it's a nice change from your regular leather jacket. And my last fashion favorites from October are caps. So the caps that I wore, so obviously you guys know about my New York cap. It's from Brandy Melville. I love it. It's great. It's neutral. Matches with mostly everything. I love wearing it. Then I bought this pink bubblegum pink cap it says youth over here it's stitched in pink though so, so it's not that noticeable but I bought it in October so I wore it more in October um here let's see if I can show you what it looks like on so this cap kind of goes longer than the New York cap um it probably doesn't look good right now with its hair but anyways uh so yeah this is just what it looks like and the New York cap. You guys know what it looks like, but I'm just going to show you again. Basically, you see it's shorter over here. So yeah. Alright, so my final section for favorites is music. And I have eight songs that I've been singing at the top of my lungs during all of October. They're a bit random. I have some old songs, some new songs, some like... Yeah. <laughs> So the first song I have is Godspeed by Frank Ocean and it's in his Blonde album. So I'll play a little snippet of it. So the next song I have to include it. Um, it's Rihanna's Love on the Brain from her anti-album. Okay, before I get really into that. Um, the next song is Let Me Love You by Ariana Grande and it's off her Dangerous Woman album and it's featuring Lil Wayne.
Okay, the next song is an older song. It's Alicia Keys, The Diary of Alicia Keys album, and it's a song, If I Ain't Got You. So, I have a playlist with all throwback songs, and I have been listening to that a lot during October, and this song just like... This is a song where I'm in the shower, and I'm like screaming at the top of my lungs. So the next song is from, actually from Dreamgirls, and it's Jennifer Hudson singing, and I'm telling you I'm not going nowhere. Another throwback song, another song that I yell at the top of my lungs, because like, <laughs> Jennifer Hudson, man, her voice just, oh, it's beautiful. So the next song is another new song and it's from the Stills Good Grief album and it's Good Grief. The next song is from Party Next Door's new album, PX3. Is that the title? Yeah, I don't even know. But it's Come and See Me featuring Drake. And that was the last song. So if you guys want, I'll have this playlist linked down below so you can check out my favorite songs. It's eight songs. Whoa, eight songs. Eight songs. Um, yeah. And if you want, you can also follow, follow me on Spotify. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Leave a comment down below on any of your favorites for October, if you have the same favorites as me or if you have any other favorites, um, yeah. So I'll see you guys next video, bye!